Yesterday, we got hit with a torrent of negativity, and a bunch of previously strong groups got taken lower, including the pharmaceutical space. But as I told you last night, this kind of sell-off creates opportunities. Like, for example, when a high-quality company reports a spectacular quarter on a bad day, and of course, nobody seems to notice. I'm talking about Zoetta, ZTS. It's the world's largest animal health company that makes all sorts of medicines and vaccines for both livestock, you have pigs, cattle, poultry, and pets, like cats and dogs. This is one of the fastest growing categories in the drug business because people are increasingly willing to fork over large sums of money to keep their pets healthy, including yours truly. Now, yesterday morning, Zoetis reported a truly great quarter. The company earned 48 cents a share, a 17% increase versus last year, when Wall Street was only looking for 41 cents. And they raked in $1.2 billion in revenue, up 5% year over year, roughly $100 million more than what analysts were expecting. Zoetis was able to grow its earnings much faster than its sales because the company's been aggressively cutting costs. Plus, management raised their full-year earnings guidance, and the conference call was really bullish. Let's see, a top and bottom beat. Uh, with raised guidance, you'd expect that kind of thing to get the stock really going, right? Yet Zoetis actually declined more than a buck yesterday, even as it made most of it up today. Part of that decline was because the stock would run going into the quarter. People took profits. Part of it was because Zoetis benefits from a weaker dollar. And for the last couple of days, the greenback's been strong. Some of the pullback was simply mindless S&P selling that we keep seeing. And that is why the stock came, uh, once that was done, why the stock came roaring back. So can Zoetis keep climbing? Let's take a closer look with Juan Ramon Alex. He's the CEO of Zoetis. Find out more about the quarter where his company's headed, Mr. Alex. Good to see you, sir. Welcome back to Mad Money. Now, I've got to tell you, you're going to make, you made my job very easy on this call because the last few years, you were, uh, really had different themes. You had uh, swine, you had uh, uh, chickens. This year is the year of the companion animal, and that's what we all know. So talk about the new things that you've got, for do uh, mostly for dogs that are so terrific, because I'm going to try to get all of them. Apparently, one of them's rationed. Well, the first thing is that uh, we have now Apoquel, that is a product that we launched uh, last year that uh, will be uh, available to all uh, customers without the restrictions, which is very good news. Well, you got to tell people because that's it, what, why we always have to worry about our pets is that's that they're right. always itching. Now, now it's a uh, product available and all customers uh, can get uh, this product. The second okay. is uh, Simparica. Right. Simparica is an oral parasiticide and uh, we just introduced the product uh, in Europe and also in the US. And uh, this product is coming uh, with a very strong uh, data, which is supporting uh, our uh, promotion very fast in terms of uh, action, and also very important. Okay, it's, not so it's not dropping uh, uh, action or effectivity right. during the duration of the treatment. Okay, so I give my dog, I've got two dogs, and they're always running around and getting ticks on them. I mean, they roll them, they get ticks. Mm -hmm. I give them, I put this in their food? No, these uh, are chewable tablet. Chewable, yes. Well, and, they don't uh, want to eat it if I give it to them, but you got to fool them. It's uh, one per month. Okay. And it's a great uh, product. Also, too, it's uh, much more uh, uh, environmental fr friendly. Uh, until okay. now, most of the, uh, the pet owners, they were okay. using a topical. Topical, you right. have uh, the problem of uh, touching, and uh, this is something that uh, it's, uh, it's not any longer an issue. You take a pill, or the dogs take right. a pill, and they are protected for, uh, for a month. Okay, well, one of them was uh, Ap uh, Apoquel. It's in the conference call, you said that was limited in supply. Can I get it? Well, now it's uh, it's available. It is available. And uh, any customer that uh, they want to so use. So I don't uh, hit my dog anymore when it itches. I do. Yeah. I give them this. Yes, you can. You can have. Uh, that's how you stop now. them, right? I mean, <laughs> but really, yeah. uh, that's, no, no. I didn't mean to say that. I, look, you know <laughs> what it's like if you own a dog and the dog's itch and you got to. Well, now you give it this drug. Now it's uh, the product is working very well. It's very safe, and uh, also the how, onset of action it's uh, great. How did so. you come up with that? I mean, that's really the holy grail of, of dog medicine. That's well, what we all get upset about. Well, it's uh, the result of the innovation that uh, right. we are uh, bringing uh, to the market, and uh, there are many multiple examples of innovation. And Apoquel is something that uh, came out of our uh, internal uh, efforts, uh, right. R&D team, that created uh, this. Uh, Excellent. Uh, well, this uh, is what we need. Now, I was doing some work because I'm very worried about the Zika virus. And apparently the Zika virus does not affect livestock to date. But could you guys do something to help that? One of the things that I've learned about you is you're working on all sorts of diseases. I mean, you know, mosquito-borne disease, is that something that you could do? Because the companies that I deal with aren't coming up with anything good for Zika. Yeah, but you are right. So the Zika virus is not affecting uh, livestock. So it's not something that uh, is part of our uh, programs. Okay. 
but uh, definitely if we have uh, products which are uh, really eliminating uh, uh, parasiticides, right? then uh, also this can, can help uh, to reduce the, the that, risk. That's what but I was it's thinking. Not, it's not something that uh, we are focused because this is not affecting uh, I, know, I know, but you're very good at killing different things that are parasites, so I thought I'd give it a try. China, new, uh, new uh, lines of business there. They apparently love what you're doing. Yeah, we have a very good presence in China. Right. And uh, this quarter, we are launching a new product, a vaccine for uh, pigs, which is combining uh, two different uh, diseases. So great uh, product that is coming out of our uh, JV in, uh, in China. Okay, uh, I've got to ask you about uh, Mr. Ackman, the hedge fund manager. He's uh, all over talking about uh, Herbalife, uh, knocking that one down. Looks like they had a good quarter after the bell, but he's also joined the board of Valiant. He's unhappy with that, how that's performing. But it seems like he's really happy with Zoetis, right? I mean, he's actually said, listen, uh, you don't have to, the board member he wanted doesn't have to stand for elections. Uh, he's well, happy with you. Uh, which is good. Right. It's good because uh, I think what is important is that our shareholders are happy. Right. And uh, I think uh, we have a good collaboration with uh, Persian Square. We okay. had uh, Bill Doyle as a director. Yes. And, uh, very smart man. And uh, very constructive uh, discussions. Uh, a lot of advice I, get, I got uh, from uh, Bill Doyle. But now they decided that, uh, uh, well, the work is done and uh, it's probably uh, uh, good that uh, they focus on some other uh, activities. Yeah. But they're still uh, shareholders. Okay. And right. we are very pleased with that. All right, last question. Uh, you've, done, <coughs> you've done great with big M&A, but you said that all, they're big five now, you can't touch them, that the antitrust, uh, antitrust department wouldn't like it. So if you do more deals, it's going to be mid, mid-size M&A, right? Well, we are not excluding any option. But uh, it's true that uh, large uh, acquisitions will uh, face the, the challenge of antitrust. Okay. And uh, we had uh, last year uh, the acquisition of uh, Pharmac, which is uh, our interest right. in uh, aquatic health. And uh, we'll be uh, assessing uh, this type of okay. opportunities. I'm, I'm convinced that uh, there will be uh, other companies that uh, will be uh, adding to our company. Well, it's been working so far. I think my staff, Juan Ramon, wants to show that I don't hate my animals. I didn't mean to say that I hit <laughs> the dog. It's just that's when they... A, a nice no, but I didn't have your medicine. I'm going and getting the itch. Get, get, it looks uh, healthy. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. no itch there. I, and none of that Elizabethan collar, which is really drives you crazy. That's one Ramona likes. He's the CEO of Zoetis. It's just such a good stock. And you know the companion animals. We spend more on them than we, well, we spend everything we need on companion animals. Mad Money's back here for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.